What's up guys? Um, in this video I just really wanted to go through um, just the a quick land sale that I made. Not really quick, I kind of sold it in a 30 day period but the sale was made 10 days ago, I just haven't had time to upload an image, uh, a blog post or a video about it. But it was a um, parcel of land that I bought connected to Vegas District Double Road. I bought it for 29,000 mana and uh, don't mind this 67,000 mana, that's not, just ignore that, that's not the sale price of the parcel. I ended up selling it for, if you look at nonfungible.com and you type in the, the coordinates of that particular land, you can see that I bought it 29,000 mana. It was initially bought for 6,000 mana back in the auction, which you know you can't really get it anywhere near this price these days. I bought it for 29,000 mana, sold it for 34,500 mana um, in a month period. You can see there's 30 days difference between these two dates. Which turns out to be 500,000, uh, 5,500 mana and um, if you times that by the current value of land on coin market cap, that's about 530 US dollars profit made on just that land. So of, of course I, I sell quite a lot of lands um, every month or at least five or six lands, you know, trades a month. Um, and, and ideally I'd like to make 10,000 plus mana per trade and in this case, um, you know, it's been like 30 days since I listed it. Yeah, so this central land currently is trading at 96 cents a year. Um, $500 US I kind of made from that. I wrote a bit of an article about it on my blog, dclblogger.com to go through some of the thoughts on uh, what, I, what I did. Um, I kind of, you know, initially I listed it for 67,000 mana which is why when I took this screenshot, I kind of came down a little bit more, 59,000, 45,000, 40,000, and eventual sell plus at 35,000 mana. I do think for the last two weeks, um, the, the land marketplace has been on a pretty big uptrend, you know, been selling quite a ton of lands, quite a lot of lands in the last two weeks. Um, it's gone through the roof, to be honest, and if I had sold it, or if I had kind of kept onto it till now, I think I could have probably sold it for 40,000 plus mana. But um, I like to quick. I, I like to do quick trades because the more mana I have, the more lands I can kind of invest in and then flip them. Um, the thoughts on this land, you know, it's a unique. Why I bought this property? It's in this article here. You can read that. I, I kind of bought it because it's connected to a double road, and it's also a Vegas district. Like it, there's there's not many land passes across this land connected to Vegas district, and Vegas district is one of the biggest districts that's going to be in Decentraland. So I'm like, well. If someone does want to invest on a land connected to Vegas District, there's not that many options. There's probably about four lands for sale there, and maybe one that's under thirty thousand or close to thirty thousand. That's more up north, but my one was pretty close to you know these other districts down here, and uh, more in the center of things. So the further away you go from the center, the less they're worth. So I thought it'd be a good buy for twenty nine thousand mana. If anything, I'll, I'll sell it for more than that. I was pretty confident I'd do that, and I did. But um, yeah, I think if I had sold it in this climate. In the, in the, within the last two weeks, it would have sold for about 40,000 mana. Anyway, just a quick video on the sale and my thoughts about it.